It is December 9th, 2025, and we're tracking an increased chance for showers heading into Wednesday night and Thursday due to an approaching weak cold front and another round of rainfall as we're heading into this weekend. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. It's been relatively quiet out there this afternoon. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few pop-up showers, especially over leeward and interior areas as we're going further into this afternoon but overall relatively dry out there our eyes however are all on the skies due to this weak cold front up to the northwest this weak cold front is going to continue moving closer to us as we're going into Wednesday night into Thursday giving us a better chance for showers over the western half of the state right now the models are hinting at the rainfall being over Kauai Oahu maybe a little bit over Maui County but it seems like Hawaii Island is going to miss out on a bulk of the rainfall from this and again we're seeing the tail end of this cold front it's going to be relatively weak rainfall it's not going to be a wall of water moving in but a better chance for showers and then as we're going into the weekend we're watching the potential of this next mid-latitude cyclone that's trying to get its act together all the way up here in the northern Pacific Ocean we're going to continue to watch to see how that plays out sorry the the arrow is bugging out it seems like it's uh doesn't know what's going on Hey, that's pretty fun. Hey, let's just get right into the details. Again, we're watching two systems that are developing. We're kind of entering an active weather pattern heading into the weekend and next week. But again, weather models are so far out. Really, what we're going to be focusing on is that first cold front. Here's what we're tracking. The front moving in on Thursday, really Wednesday night for Kauai, Thursday for the rest of the state. Kona winds tomorrow, relatively light winds out there today. So we'll be seeing more southwesterly winds tomorrow and a near advisory northwest swell. The overall weather pattern, let's break down the surface pressure. Again, we do have this uh, kind of weak high pressure system at the surface just off to the northeast. Clockwise circulation of air really not impacting us much. We've got low pressure hanging around us and just to our north. And as we're going forward, we're going to watch lower pressure develop just to our north. This is Wednesday around 3 a.m. The counterclockwise rotation of air around this low pressure system pulling air up from the south and southwest. So we're going to be seeing Kona winds out there. And then going forward in time, that low continues to develop. Again, the cold front that we're watching starts Starts to move closer to us as we're going into late Wednesday night for Kauai and then over Oahu and Maui County as we're going into Thursday evening and then it moves off to the north and northeast. But then again, we're watching the development of another low pressure system off to the northwest that could potentially bring another round of rainfall. This is going into Saturday and Sunday, bringing another front and then another low pressure system develops. So entering an active weather pattern, it is the wet season. This is pretty typical for this time of year where we start seeing more low pressure systems getting closer to us and also cold fronts. So we got to watch this pretty closely. Also at the mid-level flow, we're seeing a trough that's going to be hanging around just to the north and northwest of us going forward throughout Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Another one moves into the weekend. So we're seeing uh, further upper level support out there allowing for... Um, Low pressure development, storm development, cold front development. This is also seen at the jet stream, the upper level flow. You can see there's a trough just to the north of us. That moves off to the northeast, another weaker one heading in this weekend. So an overall, a more active weather pattern as we're going forward. That's why we're talking about the hinting of that next that next front moving in but let's focus on that first one the weaker one that's going to be moving in wednesday into thursday so just going forward you can see that front again it's the tail end of the front the bulk of the strong uh, active weather is going to be to our north closer to where that low pressure system that i was showing you just to the north of us is on the surface pressure uh, map that we were taking a look at then we start to see this cold front moving in late wednesday night for Kauai, then moves down the island chain throughout thursday and early friday morning and falls apart starts to move back up to to the northwest throughout Friday and then there's that next system that could be moving in Saturday Sunday and Monday long range models already hinting at that next one but again the weather models are going to evolve over the next couple of days that's la la land in the weather models it's going to change so please uh, bear with us as we continue to uh, you know fine-tune the details. Let's take a look at the local view, especially as we're going forward with the better chance for rainfall out there for late Wednesday night, Thursday, and parts of Friday. So again, pop-up showers possible this afternoon, but we've been relatively dry out there today. And as we're going forward throughout Wednesday and Thursday, not much rainfall out there. Southwesterly winds Wednesday afternoon. Then there's that front that's off to the northwest. This is Wednesday around 8 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m. You're starting to see more rainfall moving in over the leeward portions of Kauai and then moving down 
to the rest of the state going into uh, this is Thursday morning around 1 a.m. Getting to Oahu early Thursday morning as you're driving into work persists through the afternoon and then falls apart as it makes its way over to Maui County late Thursday night. Starts to retrograde, move back up to the northwest going into Friday. So some more showers are out there. Then we start to see more southerly winds again develop as that next system is starting to develop just to the north of us. And that cold front could be moving in closer going into this weekend again. This is so far out that it is going to change. This is la-la land. We're going to have to fine-tune the details, especially as we're getting close to this weekend. There's a lot going on. The Honolulu Marathon's going in on Sunday, or going on on Sunday. So it seems like uh, it might be a little bit wet out there. I'm hoping that that is not the case. And the GFS, the American model, also showing a very similar forecast out there going into late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. Rainfall over on Kauai moves down to Oahu early Thursday morning, persisting uh, throughout the afternoon and then moving down to Maui County for Friday morning. Falls apart, moves back to the northwest. The next front starts to move in this weekend, hopefully not impacting the marathon too much. Again, a new thing that we're working on here uh, on this YouTube channel is uh, a cool project that we've been working on with the great folks over at the Hawaii Climate, Climate Data, Data Portal. They're working with the Hawaii Mesonet to create great data visualizations out there. This is the first one that we have working from them. This is just showing the rainfall totals from yesterday. You can see the legend up at the top of the screen, but overall, really not much rainfall out there across yesterday. It was relatively dry. The only area that we really saw any sprinkles uh, was along the windward side of Oahu. You can kind of see a little bit darker green, but still really, really light out there. Not much rainfall across the entirety of the state yesterday. So thank you so much to those over at uh, the Hawaii Climate Data Portal for giving us access to this data. We're going to continue making new visualizations with them to show you the best weather possible, the best weather forecast that we can here on this uh, this YouTube channel. Our winds outside right now, pretty variable. We're seeing northeasterly winds over in Kahului. Kona winds in town around 9 miles per hour. Again, these are going to get more southwesterly going into Tuesday, uh, I mean Wednesday afternoon. This is Wednesday around 1 out of the southwest between 10 to 15 miles per hour. A little bit stronger over in Lihue. And then you start to see even northerly and northwesterly winds build in behind the front, which will hopefully build in some drier air, pull in some drier air from behind the front. So make, making those mornings a little bit cooler out there. The uh, southwesterly winds that we're also going to be expecting on Wednesday, moving the VOG up towards the northeast. So the VOG that's still off to the west and southwest of Hawaii Island with the shift in the wind pattern getting pulled back up towards the northeast, really impacting the eastern half of the state. So parts of Maui, Hawaii Island, Hilo, it seems as we're going into Thursday afternoon, Kauai and Oahu really not seeing as much VOG. It's going to be relatively light out there as well. Our surf and shoreline forecast, like I mentioned, we are expecting a near advisory level swell out there for north and west facing shores. North facing shores around 12 to 16 feet. West facing shores around 8 to 12 for Wednesday morning. I wouldn't be surprised if we do see a high surf advisory go up by the NWS. And if that does go up, I will include that in the comments and the description of this video. South facing shores around 0 to 2. East facing shores around 1 to 3. You can see the swell forecast. All of that energy moves in early Wednesday morning and is out by the time we get to Thursday and Friday. As the next fronts start to develop, sending the energy our way over the weekend, another swell will be moving in. Hey, let's break down our island-by-island island forecast. This is for your Wednesday, tomorrow, December 10th, 2025. Kauai, scattered showers, mostly sunny, light winds, west-southwesterly is between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Again, the best chance for rainfall over on Kauai will be late tomorrow night, and then we start to see more rainfall moving down for Thursday on Oahu. Scattered evening showers, possible in the afternoon for the gathering place. Mostly sunny out there in town, maybe a few sprinkles. 81 in Kaneohe, waking up around 70 degrees. 66 for a low in Kaunakakai tomorrow, 65 over in Lanai City. Mostly sunny, light winds more southwesterly in the evening. Kahului around 85, but still pretty cool in the morning. Lows in the, the mid-60s, around 66 in Kahului. 83 in Kailua Town. Spotty afternoon showers, mostly sunny. 82 over in Hilo. Waking up around 66. Waking up in Pahoa around 63. Near Volcano around 55 out there. So again, it is getting cooler out there. We're getting to that time of year where we're starting to see more rainfall events and cooler weather in the mornings. 
And again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all of the support we've been receiving so far on these videos. Again, please comment where you're watching from. Uh, I am really working on these new detailed island by island forecasts. I've gotten started on the new one for Hawaii Island, for Big Island. We're going to continue to update those and also work with the Hawaii Climate da Data Portal to get new visualizations for you guys. So please comment where you're from. Comment something you want me to focus on in future videos. I, I really am grateful for the audience that we've built so far on this little experiment that we've been doing here on YouTube. Uh, that's about it. So I'll see you tomorrow, weather permitting. This has been meteorologist Drew Davis.